Hello and welcome to my training. My name is Chuck Holmes from parttimecommander.com. Today we're going to talk about sergeant's time training. Real quick disclaimer up front, I'm in no way affiliated with the military or the government. This training is just my opinion. Make sure you check with the current Army regulations in case anything has changed. This is the purpose of today's training. The purpose of this training is to share different ideas for topics for sergeant's time training. We should probably start out by talking about what is sergeant's time. According to the militarypowerpoint.com, sergeant's time training is hands-on practical training for soldiers given by their NCOs. It provides our NCOs with resources and the authority to bring training publications or technical manuals to life and to develop the trust between leader and led to ensure success in combat. In the active component, the chain of command and NCO support channel support this vital training event by scheduling five interrupted hours of sergeant's time training each week, usually conducted on Thursday mornings from 0700 to 1200 hours. In the reserve component, sergeant's time training may be difficult to accomplish during a typical unit training assembly or even during annual training. But even reserve component units should plan and conduct sergeant's time training after mobilization. So you're wondering what topics should you do for your sergeant's time? Maybe you are a young team leader or a squad leader. Perhaps you're a platoon sergeant or even a first sergeant, and you're trying to come up with ideas either to do a class yourself or to empower one of your subordinate leaders to teach or lead a sergeant's time training. What you see on the slide are 20 different things that you can do. These are things that I've brainstormed from my own personal experience, from what I found online, from what I've seen others do, and input from other NCOs and officers. First thing is first aid. This is always a good skill that we need refresher training on. How to conduct an AAR. This is a great idea for young soldiers learning how to do an AAR before they're actually going to do one. Army values and warrior ethos. It's always good to reiterate and get refresher training on those topics. Unit history, you could do an in-depth training on your company or your platoon or your battalion's history to educate your soldiers. Drill and ceremony, this is always a good topic for a sergeant's time. How to prepare a risk assessment, this is something young leaders need to know how to do. So if you're doing sergeant's time for specialists who are about to be promoted to corporal or to sergeant, they should know how to do this. How to conduct an inventory, this is something everyone from the lowest ranking private all the way up to the highest ranking officer uh, should know how to do. How to write an op order. Now, obviously a specialist isn't going, or a private first class, they're probably not gonna be busy in the near future writing an op order, but at some point in their career, they will need to know how to do it. And it's better to learn it early on than later on. Land navigation, this is a perishable skill. It's really good to get refresher training on this. The call for fire, same thing as land navigation. It's easy to forget, especially if you never do it. Military radio etiquette. This is a really good topic idea for sergeant's time because a lot of people don't know how to use the military radio properly, how the call signs work, what you're supposed to do and not do, how to program the SINGARS, how to turn it on, how to turn it off, how to radio higher, how to radio lower. Number 13, the laws of war, rules of engagement, and war crimes. This is a great topic for sergeant's time. Conflict resolution. Folks, there will always be conflict in life, even in the military. It's good to learn how to resolve that. Physical fitness and nutrition. If you're a sergeant, maybe you're a personal trainer, or maybe you're just really in shape, or maybe you're a certified nutritionist, you could do a sergeant's time training on that topic, or you could bring in someone who is qualified to do that. The different personality types. This is great. How to earn promotion points. This is something every young soldier should learn how to do. They should need, they should know what they need to do to get promoted to the next rank and how they're going to get there. Wilderness survival skills. This is a great skill everybody should have. Cross training with other MOSs and units. Maybe you are in the maintenance section. You could send your people to the supply section for a few hours. The supply section could send their soldiers to the maintenance section and they could get that cross training. The thrift savings plan overview. This is another great idea for Sergeant time. These are just 20 ideas. There are literally thousands of things you can do. And on this next slide right here, this tips for success, this is what's gonna help you out. You wanna pick a topic that interests you. The last thing you wanna do is be boring. You wanna make sure that your training is more of a involvement rather than a lecture. You want to ask questions, you wanna get people involved. Ideally, you wanna have a couple different instructors. You wanna seek input from the people, make it fun, make it collaborative, make it exciting. 
to do that, you need to be prepared. This means you need to rehearse. This means you need to have some type of game plan ahead of time. Obviously, you want to start and end on time. You want to involve others if possible so you don't bore them to death and they don't fall asleep during your class. And finally, you want to get away from your unit or your armory and go somewhere different, different if that's possible. It's not always possible, but if it is, try to go to a different environment where there are fewer training distractors. Final thoughts, sergeant's time training is important. There are many neat topics to choose from. You owe it to your soldiers to do it right. So whether you are a SAR major, whether you are a team leader, make sure you do the best job possible that you can do and make sure your subordinate leaders are doing the best they can do to really bring it sergeant's time training and to give a ton of value so that your soldiers enjoy it, they benefit from it, and they look forward to it each week. What now? What I'd like you to do right now is check out the links in the description box below this video. You can learn more about this topic. You can visit my website, parttimecommander.com, to get trips, to get, excuse me, to get tips and training for citizen soldiers. Don't forget to like, to comment, and subscribe to my channel and to this video. Thank you for your service. Thank you for taking time to watch this video today. I hope you got some value from it. Have a great day.